It's Sports by the Book at the South Point Studio. Here's Jeff Parles. Welcome in. It's Sports by the Book here at the South Point Studio. Happy to be with you. The final Monday of September, amazingly enough. Vinny Maliola is alongside. Hello. What do you say, Jeffrey? Good to see How you. How are you, buddy? Oh, looks like we might yeah. be having a. Uh, well, I, I just might I, be I, having a, a visit. We might. We're going to have a hockey shift uh, microphone. Uh, I, that's right. Occurrence here in a second. It's uh, Chris Andrews. Right. Chris Andrews he's is very here. diverse. He's, a, he's our our technical. Uh, you, you, you need that. You need we'll that. have Cr- you need Cr- the microphone. <laughs> Chris will uh, really grab the microphone himself. See a little play That's by right. play for the uh, for the folks maybe listening audio only. There he is, Chris Andrews. Everybody, okay. what do you How say, we buddy? Good, good. I thought you would recap uh, yesterday, being that you Ooh. were in attendance last night for the uh, finale. Yeah. Let me tell you the first. Okay, obviously the Steelers won, made me very happy. Tom and I, Tom Blazik, both big <laughs> Steeler fans. We go to the game. I'm married to a Raider fan. Made it very nice. <laughs> Tom's married to a Cowboy fan, and her two favorite teams are the Cowboys and whoever's playing the Steelers. <laughs> so it was a very good night for both of right. us. It was, uh, and both Tom and Chris have rooms here at the South Point now as a result of last night. So, well, no, that my couch is very comfortable, Vinny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they got thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and not only that, I, that – Steelers outright was a reasonable result, right? Oh, yeah. I, uh, with all let, the money that came in on the Raiders. Yeah, let, let me just we, – we had a really good day yesterday. Um, so I just, I just got off the phone with Michael Gone right before I came in, and he's uh, very happy with the results. But I'll tell you, besides the results, which were great, I don't want to – you know, I, every bookmaker cries. I don't want to cry. But I do want to brag about one thing. Handle the same four days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday – same four days last year compared to this year. The year scissors up over 50%. It's like 51 wow, point man. something percent in handle. Handle. Now, you can handle whatever you want. I mean, put the Chiefs up, pick them against the Bears. You can handle all you want. Sure. Yeah, I mean, but the point is to try to win some of that, too. But we had a very good day. But I what and, you know, listen, everything Michael does here at this place is to bring in bodies, customers. And uh, we brought a lot of them in. And listen, it's, it's not like it was slow as molasses last year we last yeah. year was plenty busy too but now it's just been terrific off the charts well it's a, a point that you've brought up Vinny's brought it up jimmy's brought it up of course well, we're still only a few years into sports betting being legal everywhere mm-hmm. else mm-hmm. in the country that there was some thought oh maybe las vegas will get hurt no 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 it's just the opposite it's just going through the roof people are more familiar with it and coming yeah. to the mecca of sports betting now I said it from the beginning. I, I believe it'll grow the market. Yeah, you know, and it and, did. And we took a little hit at first. You know, yeah, they heard us. And, you know, the Super Bowl being played in Arizona where they had just legalized betting, that, you know, hurt our Super Bowl handle a bit. But, again, we had a great Super Bowl. And, and so far, you know, this season's been fantastic. We'll get it back in, in a few significant uh, percentages, I think, with this Super Bowl obviously being here. But to, to, to Chris's point, and your point as well, Jeff. I mean, the the again, you the, you look at at the numbers that are reported and recorded by the state. And we'll talk about the state of Nevada now, with better than forty jurisdictions around the country that have legal sports wagering. Sports wagering is now ma- is now part of the mainstream. It's mm-hmm. it's part of the the sports fabric in this country. And the what it what it's done here is is break down barriers. I think people are more familiar with it. They still want that Las Vegas experience. I mean, Chris, yesterday, a great example, uh, you're at Allegiant Stadium. It's an event. It's not just a game. Right. I mean, at least 40 to 50% of the fans in attendance still are fans. I'd so say 60. Come, all right, say, all right, there you go. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're coming here to be a part of, of the Las Vegas experience, which includes so many things. Oh, and by the way, sports wagering uh, is a part of it. And the fact that the handle has grown since the overturning of PASPA uh, here in the state of Nevada by uh, over $3 billion a year. Again, it's it's not New York. It's not New Jersey. But again, there's not 40, 50 million people that live within a two-hour drive. Of, uh, and, and so uh, I think it speaks uh, volumes to what's, uh, what we're, what's happening here. Let me say this. As I spent many years, people know, I spent many years in northern Nevada. And I was in the casino business. And 
there's some things we tried to get done, some things we couldn't get done. And I was always telling everybody, Las Vegas does things right. You know, I know you don't want to be Las Vegas junior, but you should copy some of the things that these guys are doing uh, down there. Las Vegas does things right. And I look around the rest of the country. I think Reno's kind of picked it up in some ways, you know, but I look at, you know, I think New Jersey's done a really good job. Yeah, you know, I haven't been to New York. Yeah, you know, I hear some things about some of the other jurisdictions. But I also hear about some of these European outfits that have come in. And, you know, Jimmy tells you because he worked with, you know, can be, you know, we can't bet that game. That game's full. Well, what do you mean it's full? <laughs> Move the number. We got, you know, I mean, that, no, that's not it. The, 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 you know, I mean, they have these crazy systems. I don't know what game's the hell they're full. The okay. game's full. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Come back in sure. 15 minutes. We'll have to do a new you pool know. will be open. Yeah. They, yeah. I mean, stuff like that. I mean, so, but like I said, we don't do that here in Las Vegas. You know, we we don't. I mean, <laughs> there's some of them that are starting to, but we don't do it like that in Las Vegas. And especially here at the South Point, we still, we're very old school. And, uh, you know, we still have a lot of things that we do that are, are very progressive in a lot of ways, but we haven't abandoned the old ways. Okay. Uh, some guys, like I've, I've said before, they call me a dinosaur. I say, I'm not a dinosaur because dinosaurs are extinct. I'm a crocodile. The crocodile has been around for 85 million years. I'm still around. You're still here. I'm, st I'm right here. here you're I still here. This you're, is not you're, a hologram. You're, 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 I'm, I'm for you're, real. You're, you're a few arms lengths away from, from me over here. Uh, and, and you mentioned it. Like, you're, you're da you adapt to some of the changes as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, just look. I mean, the team, we talked about it on the show, and you brought it up. The team totals that you, you brought into the market in baseball at the beginning of the year, and now we're in the NFL. It's, it's a big thing, yeah. a big handle thing for a prop. Yeah, and we had the golf show on earlier. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have time stuff. to go through it on, on your show, but we had a show dedicated to all the props and stuff like that. And in years past, we just did, you know, who's going to win the Ryder Cup. Now we got all kind of stuff, you know, and uh, that's part of the progress. And we're not the only ones doing that. Like I said, you look around Las Vegas and a lot of the other sports workers are doing it as well. Good morning. But uh, that's part of it. Yeah. By the way, Chris, we got two games tonight. Piggybacking off yeah. of yeah. yesterday, I want to get to it because folks want to know, uh, especially about the second game on uh, on the rotation, um, the Rams Bengals and the big uh, mm. uh, the big question mark still. But we're starting to hear uh, some things trickle out of Cincinnati about Joe Burrow. Yeah, the coach. Said, uh, excuse me, but the coach said he's not ready to make an announcement yet. Well, I mean, we're forty five minutes from game time. Right. I don't know what they're waiting for. <laughs> you know, I, I guess an hour forty five. But anyway, uh, they did activate a third quarterback, a guy I'd never heard of, Stinnett. Re Reed Stinnett. Reed Sinnott. Reed Sinnott. Who's he? Uh, he was on the Dolphins last year. Mm -hmm. the, so he got beat out by Michael White. He got, uh, yes, got beat out by... Uh, got the beat Jets, out. which they still had. But anyway, go uh, ahead. Sorry. Uh, got beat out by Skylar Thompson, too. Uh, Reed Sinnott, by the way, just so you know. San Diego Torero in oh, college. Okay. Right. So there you go. Right. Uh, that's uh, Jim Harbaugh's old yes. school. Yeah. You know. Okay. I mean, I'm you know, sure he's you know, fairly talented, but, but the fact that they activated him... Onto the 53-man roster. I don't know if that means he's going to dress tonight or not, but they did activate him onto the 53-man roster. Means they got a problem, you know, at quarterback. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, Burrow's, you know, 100% healthy. And I know the Bengals haven't played well so far this year, but I think they're probably a seven-point favorite, at least six and a half in this mm -hmm. game. Um, but he's not healthy. We're at three. I'm starting to see, see three with a lot of juice on the favorite. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I have a feeling, you know, we do everything at 11 to 10 here at the South Point. We may get to three and a half at some point. I'm not ready to go yet, though. Well, because yep. we uh, we go at the moment that it happens yep. in Rappaport, Joe Burrow expected to start at quarterback tonight, yep. planning to play despite not being 100%. And I think that's the key. You know, Chris's point is, is spot on. Because let's remember, a week ago when – the number open here at the South Point, it, it was six on was a six Sunday, six Sunday, and a Sunday night. Uh, probably you probably have yeah, it. it I just, yeah, six. Yeah, but okay. Six and a half. Six and a half. Initially, <laughs> because, to us. yeah. Uh, you know, but then when the news came out about Burrow, there was an adjustment. Oh, yeah. All right. Down to you know, less than three, like two and a half, two. We were as low as okay. one. Vin. And then it went down yeah. to, to one. But here's the thing. For the folks listening, it's never going to go back to the opening number, even if he plays. <laughs> no, 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 no okay. not now. So no, that's no. That you're not going to see six, six and a half on on this game tonight. Uh, he's not a hundred percent, as as Chris uh, noted, and uh, so so that that's that's the line movement there. 
uh, on on that game. But it, it remains to be seen. I'm sure once uh, people as people are are getting this information, uh, that's also you know uh, having the number uh, creep up. So and then of course the other game, uh, which is the earlier game. We love the Monday night double headers. I'm not so sure about that. I, I don't I don't like this staggered. Yeah, thing. I'm I really. Like, I, I, like, I like. I'd I rather like, have it than Thursday. Uh, first of all, let me. I've been saying since Rather than anything than Thursday. I hate the Thursday <laughs> games. I, you know, college. A, okay, right? College. It yeah, should be safe for college. Yeah. It's, listen, it's been good for business. I we understand that, but I, I still think, and I've said this from the beginning. I, I want the league to thrive, and I don't think yeah. we're seeing the best football on Thursday nights. I no. just don't. Am I doing a lot of business? Yeah, but I also don't think it's the best thing long term for the league. I'd rather, like Vinny said, Thursday night's a great night for college football. Have a couple of games. We have a couple of games this week. Yeah. You know, we have yes. a good schedule. You know, leave Thursday night to the colleges. And by the way, leave Friday nights to the high schools, even though, again, I'm doing a lot of business on some of those games too. Yeah. But and, and then, but after that, Sunday, Monday, that's plenty for, for yeah. pro football. So, uh, Eagles, six and a half on the opener last Sunday night. Chris, yeah. and again, numbers at South Point uh, for the NFL go up on Sunday night. Uh, Went down as low as, as five. I think we're at, uh, we're I, want, at I just went back to five and a half. Just five went and a half. back. Right before came, right came in the studio. Uh, total on that one, uh, 40, uh, 44. 44. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of, it was high as 46 and come down to 44 now. You know, so. Vinny, you and I have been doing this a long time. <laughs> and even though we had a, thanks for reminding me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, somehow, uh, I know we had a real big day yesterday. Somehow, Guys find money to bet that Monday night game. <laughs> so uh, we we have a we have a great handle for tonight. I yeah. will tell you. I mean, like I said, part of it is our overall handle has been really good, really strong. But I thought maybe it might lag a little bit today because we had a very good day yesterday. But uh, you know, I was wrong uh, as I am in many things in life. But fresh, I was wrong. Fresh, a lot of money. Here. Fresh customers in. Uh, uh, everyone. Every. I mean, everyone who was wearing Pittsburgh deal, uh, gear yesterday. Chris, I went, one of my friends from college was in. Went down to pick him up after the game and. I, I don't think I've seen that many people in Pittsburgh gear since I was in in the city uh, of Pittsburgh about a year ago. Yeah, you know, I mean, oh, first of all, all, the Pittsburgh guys all got there early. Oh yeah. So when the Steeler game, when the Steeler team came out on the field, there was such an upper. My wife has one of those Apple watches, you know. Yeah. And it started alerting excessive noise, excessive <laughs> noise. Ex <laughs> I was, yeah, honey, it's probably going to go off a couple times tonight. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Great uh, turnout, great event. Chris, Chris, uh, Chris, one last thing before we let you let, let you go back. And, I have uh, a job, and, you know, and, and, do, and do your job uh, in the back there. Uh, you know, Philly and Tampa's two and zero versus two and zero, and Tampa is a surprise two and zero. The team that was a bottom five power rated team going into the sure. year, the Eagles, the top five power rated team going into the year, and and it's always fascinating to me where. We're still pretty early into the season, and the betters come in and bet the surprise two and zero as a dog at home against a team like Philadelphia. That yeah hasn't looked great, but guess what? They're two and zero. They covered week one. Yeah, they covered some closing numbers in week two. Pushed a lot of the ones that were out there at close. But it's always fascinating when you have this type of matchup, and the way that it's been bet this week is to me one of the more interesting bet games of the entire week, and it happens to be on its own tonight. You know, Baker Mayfield's one of those guys. Vinny's I, been saying it for two weeks now. I, I've always kind of rooted for him. I, I always root for guys. I, yeah. You know, he he took over a team. That, I forget, was his team 1-15 no, or 0-16? No, that was an 0 for 1. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, and you know, he was, had them in the playoffs not yeah. long after that. I mean, this kid's been denigrated, and I know I see a lot of QBR numbers where he's not that, that good. I don't know. I've always kind of liked him a little bit. and. You know, I think he's playing some pretty good ball for Tampa Bay. I, like I said, I don't know why certain guys I kind of root for. I kind of been rooting for Baker Mayfield. So, you know, I, I don't know. I kind of hope he does well here. And, you know, I, I, you know, right now I don't need him, but I may need him by post time because it's starting to come back in on Philly. Yeah, I wouldn't be I certain. love uh, Chris's point, but we, we've been talking. First of all, the, the, the kid's a warrior. He's a battler. And what I look for and what we're starting to look at and realize now is – you know who's leading teams. There are teams that have, they're they're a rudderless ship at the position. Unfortunately, this th this guy is battling. I'm not saying, and I'm not anointing anointing him as the second coming of 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 his predecessor, Tom Brady. Okay, but I will tell you this: the team 
rallies around him. He's got command in the huddle, and they're responding. And uh, listen, there's there's teams that don't have that under center right now, and it not only impacts the offense, but it impacts the defense who's on the field for 40 minutes uh, a game. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. You know, the team that you and I – Ah, yeah, we, don't well, need, we don't even need to bother with that. Even though too soon. The whole nation gets to see that next Sunday night. Oh, uh, man. A little bit of a difference That's between cool. Mahomes and Wilson next Sunday night. Like you think? The oh. Yeah, just, well, just the With the North and the South Pole? <laughs> well, yeah, but Vinny makes a really good point. You know, the, 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 uh, the quarterback can galvanize a sure. team. Or what's Blow the opposite up. of galvanizing? Yeah. 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 yeah, blowing up a yeah. team. Yeah. I mean, that happens, and, and, and you think, well, what's a quarterback have to do with the defense? Well, I'll tell you what, it has a lot to do with the defense, yeah. just by his presence, his actions, all that sort of thing. You mean to tell me that these defensive players for the Jets weren't playing you know, harder, knowing like, hey, number 12 can pull this. If we hold these guys close, number 12 can pull this game out for yeah. us. When a D lineman is praying. Well, I guess he was number eight. He was number eight for, a, eight for four plays. When yeah. a D lineman celebrates a first down by his own team like midway through <laughs> the second quarter that's a bad sign it's not not what, you, not what you're looking for uh chris uh pleasure as always friday can i can i say it for everyone on sure friday? let's get it out there buddy. friday we're going to two hours we're going to two hours on friday football friday on sports by the book i'm excited for it starting at two o'clock pacific time on friday two hours we could probably do a nine-hour show on Friday if we really want. We could go as long as we want. I got to tell you, there's so much to talk about every, every week. Yeah, This week would have been a good one because we had so many, so many college, college games. games yes. uh, although the, the pro schedule was just fair. But listen, the pro schedule is good every week. Oh, <laughs> you know, yes. One way or another, it is. Yes. You know? <laughs> it's true. It's 100% true. And, and look, hey, our, our, your friend Dion is, is in uh, the premium early slot. On, on Saturday. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a weird time. What, the it? 10 a.m. local kick? T against 10 a.m. in from California? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. A lot of fun. Chris, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll, let, we'll let you go do your uh, your day job. Okay. All right, guys. Chris Andrews. Thanks, everybody. Thanks a lot, everybody. Sportsbook I'm director here at the South Point. We're going to take a quick break. Vinny and I are going to go deeply into the two Monday night games. Tampa hosting Philly. Since he looks like Burrow's going to play, hosting the Rams. That's next. Sports by the Book here at the South Point Studio. Welcome back in Sports by the Book here at the South Point Studio. Happy to be with you. I'm Jeff Parles. Vinny Maliulo, the Hall of Famer, He's alongside. Good to see Chris Silvers. I get and I get to hang out with him before you, and after. You, you see him all the time. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good guy. Good at his job, too. We go back to oh excellent. Yeah. We go back to <laughs> nineteen eighty, Chris and I, at the the Barbary Coast. Uh, which is the what is it? I saw the Cromwell. The Barbary Coast. The Cromwell, yeah. Cromwell. Corner of Las Vegas Boulevard. And Flamingo, the strip, yes. It's down there a little bit yesterday. Good, lots, a lot happening. Oh, they're, they're like I, I wasn't of, joking. Uh, I, I think there were, I, I every other person I saw down there had a Steelers jersey. I, I'm fairly you, certain. You know what's interesting too? Uh, uh, the uh, I think it was the president or chairman of Allegiant was uh, talking about the packages, how they offer them, and again, every every Raider game is in fact an event. Oh you know, yeah, we've got so many events here, and. Every Raider game is is one of them, and it, and it's great, and the people rave about it, and uh, they incorporate the game and everything else. You know, for instance, here at the South Point, all the amenities, you know, the uh, uh, the gaming amenities and the dining amenities and uh, uh, pool and spa and stuff. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, uh, we enjoy it. And by the way, uh, I just got the text from Chris, and I'm looking at it on my uh, alert here. The uh, Bengals just went to three and a half. Okay, so we, you and I were just talking about yeah. this during the break here. Right. So Burrow, as of right now, multiple reports out there. He is going to play tonight. Uh, the last report, uh, Diana Rossini was what I saw. Uh -huh. Burrow will go through a workout just to make sure, his normal pregame workout to make sure everything's uh -huh. okay. Had a really good day today. That's why he is in tonight against the Rams. And Vinny, you know, it's interesting because you guys were, what, you opened six and a half on this game, open high. Yeah. Uh, I w was a little surprised, actually, even with, again, I know the Bengals are 0-2. They have not looked good through two weeks. Uh, kind of a desperation spot when you put it against a Ram team that they're 1-1. One one. They've looked better than I would have expected. A road win at no Seattle, doubt. a a cover against San Francisco uh, in weird yeah. fashion, but still a game. Very strange, that, but it happened. Quite, yeah. quite frankly, that was a touchdown game most of the way, so yeah. right result in the end. Right. But it's it's. 
you, you and I were talking about this during the break. Three and a half right now here. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get close to the, the forget, that, forget. that opener again. But yeah, that's not going to happen. What's the peak? Do you think? I think the peak is probably four. Maybe four, Jeff. And you, you know, depending on the property, uh, you know, some folks may move the money. Um, they were moving the money on three again. Just a not a, a critique. It's just a, a matter of practice. Um, you have to at some point realize too that even if he he is going to play, he's not a hundred percent. I mean, this has been an this is an injury that he ha has had since the beginning of training camp. So there's there's been some concern. Um, you see not only him but the team not in in particularly good form, typical Bengal form yep. in recent years. In the first two games, zero and two, not only overall but zero and two in the division. Uh, this not being a division game, but looking to get things right. So I think what, what, what folks are looking at is saying, okay, he's going to play. He's at least, even if he's not 100%, he's better than their backups, which is true. Uh, you figure that uh, the rest of the team steps up their game as well, and that figures to be the case. But as far as this game getting back to six, uh, I don't I don't see it. And uh, anybody that took it, you know, now, did, did some people take the six and perhaps lay the one and a half that Chris mentioned, the, the, the low point? Yeah, probably, you know, at some point there was, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. And they have three and a four, you know, uh, uh, particularly going for you. There's nothing wrong with you having know? the big middle. Right? No, there's nothing, <laughs> like, listen, there's nothing wrong with, with, nothing with, wrong with, with that. the middle, you know. Um, but nothing, nothing wrong with the middle unless you're you're a bookmaker. But oh, oh, uh, right. but that happens sometimes. Okay. But anyway, this this one here just uh, just went to uh, three and a half. And, and again, the... The the total is indicative of the, of him playing as well because the total is now uh, up to forty five and a half. Let's remember it opened forty six and a half, uh, got as low as uh, what forty three, forty three and a half. You know, depending on uh, on the spot. Uh, but the total is starting to uh, come up to, and I think the weather looks to be uh, pretty favorable uh, this evening as well, uh, if uh, if I'm not mistaken. So we're looking forward to to the game. Um, I do. Love the, uh, uh, you know the the double headers on Monday. I kind of wish maybe maybe four and six, but of course the folks back east, uh, nah, you know that's uh, that's too late. But listen, you know what? If you find if you, if you find a way, uh, you 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 manage to uh, you you live back there. You stayed up late when you were uh, sweating games. Let's face it. It's the NFL. You stay up. Yeah, I you agree. stay up. Yeah, you stay up. So, By the way, uh, the rookie sensation. For the Rams, Puka Nakua, who through two games, Vinny, 25 catches and 266 receiving yards. So nice story. Uh, the rookie, the fifth round pick out of BYU, he was questionable. Looks like he is going to go as yeah. well tonight. He was questionable <laughs> last week, ended up going against uh, the 49ers and obviously had that gigantic game. So Stafford's favorite target through two weeks will be in. Looks to be in as well. And you know, again, the Niners are the Niners, and they're they're the best. Uh, they're the best right now uh, in terms of power rating. Um, I I think the, the surprise. The thing about the Rams, their offensive line has done a good job. I mean, it was difficult, much, much better much than better expected. Uh, than I think. I mean, overall, I think the Rams are better than what what people thought. So um, again, you, you know, it speaks to a a veteran, serviceable quarterback. You know, you, you, you talk about the quarterback position. If you look yesterday, even though they lost the game and, and the Seahawks, uh, you know, not only won the game, but they covered. But there was a lot of support for Carolina yesterday, and it was because they they decided to start Andy Dalton, a uh, a, a veteran quarterback. Now, it was a, a, a the number certainly spoke to, but it wasn't like this – astronomical number either right it was what six six and a half you know five i mean they they bet yesterday by the way a lot of the dogs were bet i think a lot of people are surprised we needed uh we needed some favorite uh, favorites yesterday including the dolphins you know the uh, the broncos got a lot of support yesterday as well so um quarterback position still the most impactful position to the betting number Three and a half, forty-five and a half right now on the Rams and the Bengals. Yeah, here games. at South Point. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. that again, you right now it's again, you guys only do it eleven to ten. Yeah. Only well, we were gonna move the money there. Yeah. But you yeah. see some threes. A lot of three twenty minus, minus twenty, uh, 20 on, uh, and, on the and, Bengals. You know, so um the other game holding pretty steady right yeah. now with uh with the the Eagles as five uh, five and a half point favorites. We just went to uh, Chris mentioned that 
uh, right before he came in to, to start the start the show uh, from five and five to five and a half, and that total uh, forty five. That that high was a uh, forty six and a half. I just want to ask you a, a yeah. question here, Vinny, because now we're three weeks in. Yeah, and obviously you're changing your power ratings every every week. How much now do the priors? play into effect now that we're three weeks into the season. prior games or just or, no, like or prior. Your, your season priors now what i mean prior what power well, ratings yeah. or oh, oh, yeah, okay yeah, so power, how much yeah. of an adjustment yes well i think you know well i mean i can i can you know share with you like if, if you look at some of the you know if, if you compare let's say week one um the 49ers were were high but they weren't the highest, right? The Eagles, the Chiefs were uh, a little bit ab above them. The Bills, I think on some accounts, were above them. But there's not as big a jump in the pros, because they're the pros, than, as there are in the, in the colleges. And we can talk about the colleges a little bit. Um, there's... I, now, in the case of the Jets, it's a significant difference. Why? Right, because of the Rogers, Rogers situation. So we have to kind of put that on 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 the on the side, right? But the Niners now are up about two and a half points off of uh, the initial. Um, you know, you look at. I think now we're going to have to adjust the Cowboys down because of the injuries. Yesterday's performance. Um, I think they were exposed in, in the defensive run game. And now they go against Ezekiel Elliott, who's coming home this week. You know that Belichick's going to try to have a steady diet of uh, uh, of running the ball there. So we're going to have to adjust the uh, the Cowboys down probably by, you know, I don't know, maybe a point, point and a half. You, again, you don't overreact there. Um, i tell you what, the Dolphins, compared to the beginning of the season, um, they're up a couple of points, but again, the the difference in the pros is not as much as it is in the colleges. Just to compare, of course. Look at Georgia. I I, I think we talked about this uh, going into the season, Jeff, and on on the uh, early uh, shows from the South Point Studio here on uh, Sports by the Book. The Georgia we had like about six points better than the number two team let's say alabama this is going into the season at the time yep um ohio state i've got to tell you georgia's come back to the pack now i agree okay because why they've played to the level of the competition they've not i don't think they've shown themselves yet to what we thought they would be michigan the same way yeah i will tell you this alabama and ohio state have answered the call they've they've closed the gap now so instead of that six point difference it's, I don't know, maybe one and a half or two. It's that that much of an adjust. That's a so there's a bigger adjustment in the college power ratings now compared to the beginning of the season than the the pros in three weeks. And it's in, just looking at the college end of it. Look, Georgia's four and zero. Oh. Yes, but look at who they played. Right. Uh, by the way, the uh, the gentleman who came in and took all those points with UAB didn't have much of a sweat. No. <laughs> UAB loses by four touchdowns, covers all numbers yep. pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, Michigan push. They haven't covered any game yet. Of Michigan fell 24. Yeah. Fell right it's on the a, number. Fell 24 is a push. Yeah. Right, right on the number. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, it, and usually, and usually, yeah. And, and this is this is not abnormal, Vinny. That the college numbers are more, especially now in this era where there's so much player movement in the offseason. Oh, well. and, and like the, the numbers are much more malleable through the early portion of the season in, in college than the NFL well, sure. now more than ever. Well, I mean, and again, I think it speaks to what we, you know, our exercise with the games of the year, and um, we we put them up. Full disclosure: We put them up two months later this year. Why? Because players are still moving around in the transfer <laughs> right. portal, right? I mean, and, and so look, you, you've you've got to be be very cognizant of that. And not only who's going somewhere and improving a team, but who left the program and who you know who's who's who, which teams are going to be down. So 
yeah, there, it's it's no real surprise. Uh, I, I think with the, with the colleges, but you know, it's you know, I think it's it helps uh, for the folks to understand the exercise. Again, you, you know, it's just like home field advantage. It's more of a factor in college football than it is in the pros, particularly in in recent years. So, um, you know, it's you know, numbers are what they are. Uh, and again, but at the end of the day, you you post them and let folks have at it and uh, and. That's where line movement comes. I, I, I will say this, and this is this does have some betting ramifications as well, mm-hmm. uh, Vinny. But it feels to me through, and again, we're only we have two games left in week three. A lot can change in fifteen weeks in the NFL. Sure, the teams that I think are capable of winning it all, and those top-rated teams, it's a lot more narrow of a selection of teams in the NFL where. In college, it's been, all right, it's Georgia, it's Alabama, maybe Ohio State and Michigan over the last few years, and that's basically it. Yeah, I know TCU made the championship game. We all saw what happened. This year in college football, and I would imagine what you just said with the power ratings indicates this, you can make an argument for nine teams right now that are capable of winning the title, and that means tighter, yes. tighter, tighter numbers like you have this year Well, in which, which is, which when you, what you just said is, is so true. But what's really interesting about it is, but there's only four spots up for grabs. Correct, correct. Right? Yeah. In the colleges, whereas there's 14, 14 up for grabs in the, yeah. in the pros. But as a, as a, you know, I could tell you this, both better and bookmaker, start looking at those types of situations. And yeah, do we do handicapping on our side of the counter? Yeah, in this regard. Who really is going to struggle? Who Who, who is... Who's false and who's, right. who's legit, right? And what, what comes into play there? Well, strength of schedule for sure, right? And performance so far. Um, and again, there's still a long way to go. But just like a horse race, you look at a, you look at a 12 horse race, you know, sometimes you start handicapping it by who, who do you think, who are you going to throw out? Who can't win. Right? Yeah. So it's the same thing here. I think you have to start looking at the real reality of, who team, teams are starting to show who they are. And now, can a team turn things around? Absolutely. The Detroit Lions a year ago had a, a, a terrible first half and made a made a playoff run I mean, just in the look, second half. The Jets, the, it was the exact opposite. The opposite. But look at the team tonight. Look you know. at the Bengals tonight. The Bengals last year were 0-2 and were right. one silly penalty away for being in overtime in the AFC title game for it, the second straight and, year. And there's too much talent there yeah. to... To, to, to discount the Bengals Correct. right now. However, Burrow's injury the Burrow changes. injury is lingering. And the fact that it's been a, 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 a factor for two months now, right? When you go back to, to, to camp, right? The better part of, of two months now bears, bears watching. But, so you don't eliminate the Bengals uh, because of the talent level. But let's face it. There are some teams that you look at the entire vibe of the team where you say, boy, this team is this team is in trouble for a, a few reasons. Uh, case in point, even though the Chargers won yesterday, you still have to think about the coaching. Well, and they also had a big injury, too. And more injuries. Williams is now He's lost done. for the season. Yeah. Um, the defense has certainly not performed to the level that they expected, given the the pass rushers they have again and again another example of games are not played on paper so uh, also take into consideration this is something that that i look at and i've looked at even more so in the last few years is coaching and what that coaching how that coaching impacts uh what teams do because it impacts the results maybe we had this discussion because oh good again no well it's we all hear like betters changing their, like using their priors sometimes very long into the season, sometimes not so much, but it's, it's interesting to hear it from, from the other side of the counter. Well, just like, again, like, yeah, the betters are betters are doing this. You guys are doing this every single day. Well, the exact same thing. Well, you have to, you have, and you can't be stubborn Yeah. either. You know, I, I, Chris, Chris and I all oftentimes talk about, you know, when we're make. so again, I'll use the example of, uh, uh, games of the year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, or when I'll tell you, uh, even an even better example is when uh, the NCAA tournament 
comes out. The pairings come out. Okay. And we sit in the back and over the years it's been it's been Chris, Jimmy and I, and then we'll bring in another respected opinion, another colleague of ours, whether it's Rich Bachelary or Tony Sinisi. And we'll sit there independently, pairings come out and we make numbers. Okay. And it would be alarming if all four of us had the exact same number. Now, are they close for the most part? Sure. Yes. Is there are there times, particularly in those five twelves where they're pretty close? Yes. However, if if you look at every game in the first round and we're all the same, no. And that would be that would be like, wait a minute, I can't that's that's we're looking at can't be looking at we're looking at different things and considering different things. But I'd rather sit there and say, wow, if there's a three point difference between what I have and what Chris has, hey, did I miss something? Let me check my math again. Let me look. Hey, Chris, what do you think? And Chris will say, well, I saw that. And and you've got to, you can't be stubborn. Yeah. And 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 collectively, that's when you make the best uh, the best numbers, and you put up the best product, and you you learn. You you're, you're learning from each other, and you're also learning from the people on the other side of the count. That that's the other thing. Uh, as a, as a bookmaker in our industry, and again, we've been doing this a long time, and 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 I'm not saying that for any other reason. That say we've got to adjust, and you've got to respect. The people that are putting up their money at the counter, because the, again, it's the ultimate. Put your money where your mouth is, and it, it warrants respect and paying attention. Don't be stubborn is a very important life lesson in anything. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just yeah. top it all off. But no, it's you it's. I think I always love when we have these type of conversations because to get into your into your mind and just see how you think as someone who's been in this business for a very long time makes me smarter makes the listener well, smarter as well so. i hope it does and uh it's it's a good exercise and i hope it uh, it's informative uh to the folks out there so absolutely we're, we're gonna take one last break when we get back thoughts on both of these games burrow looks like he's gonna play yeah uh the bucks are wearing red jerseys i know that comes into a big handicapping thing right Vinny? yeah uniform uniform color yeah i don't big care if they time, go right? shirts and skins <laughs> <laughs> be a little painful if it was that <laughs> i'd say for sure we're, i didn't say no pads <laughs> <laughs> last segment for us sports by the book here at the south point studio welcome back in sports by the book here at the south point studio i'm jeff parles hello everyone everyone watching on the stream today Vinny maliula is alongside i uh Again, I love I love the type of discussion we had in the last segment. If you're just joining us right now, replays will be on our YouTube channel yes. as always. Mm -hmm. Make sure you check it out there. Uh, as we announced earlier, we're still three o'clock on Thursday, but on Friday, the first ever two hour version of this show will be coming two to four. Vinny, Chris Andrews, just... myself, I'm sure Jimmy will pop oh, in as well. Definitely. Uh, I have to apologize to, to Jimmy for quote unquote yelling at him, hollering at him yesterday in the middle of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, that, was a, that was one of the first questions I got from someone who watched the show yesterday. Why are you hollering at Jimmy? <laughs> he handled it well, though. He just rolls right. He rolls he, rolls he, right along. They're, they're, look, they're, they're, it's said about a lot of people that they are not replicable. There is only one Jimmy Vaccaro. No and doubt about will, it. And there will never be anyone who is anything like him. Just consider it, first of all. For, it, just his entrance and exit. Well, that's, that's right? why you put him I mean, over just here. think about it. <laughs> He needs that. He needs he's, the floor. He's the greatest. Right? The, the greatest. Best. The greatest. Yeah. yeah. All right, Vinny, back to these games tonight. Eagles and Bucks, mm. Rams and Bengals. By the way, uh, as always at the South Point, game individual game props. Yeah, we do available have uh, for these prime timers. And, and these are these are team props, you know, Jeff, everything mm -hmm. from alternate point spreads to uh uh team totals, which we offer by the way, team totals on on every, every game. game. Um you know, you've got uh, uh you know, First team to score in the game uh, will or will not be overtime. A lot of these, you know, are, are people will recognize from the Super Bowl and the uh, conference of finals. But they're popular. These are what are popular with our uh, our clientele. And and again, the thing about uh, South Point is um, this is the hub for uh, other properties throughout the state, uh, both in uh, Casablanca and uh, Virgin River, up in Mesquite, and uh, the Rampart, uh, out in Summerlin. Our good friend. 
uh, Dwayne Colucci. Our guy. That's right. Is over there running a, running a, a nice spot. Does, does a great job and runs a great book over there. So these are what, what you know. The reason I bring that up is these numbers are, and these props. Everything you see here at the South Point is available at at those properties and um, uh, and, and and of course on the uh, on the phone app as well. So it was up there uh, up there over the weekend. Did you get to see Colucci? I did. A good did. man. Wonderful guy. We're gonna have him in. Yeah. So we got to get him. Yes, we he get was, him on. Well, we, I actually talked to him about yeah. that. Uh, have Colucci to at least, on. at least get him on the show at some point. Uh, yeah. Guy Dwayne Colucci up there at the Rampart. All right, Vinny. Tonight, let's uh, let's go to Philly and Tampa first because we talked about this at the open with Chris. Yeah. And again, this goes back to adjusting power ratings. Where mm -hmm. at the beginning of this year, this was one of those is like, okay, it's a road spot, it's a prime time game, but it's a game where the Eagles should be able to go down to Tampa with a whole bunch of Eagle fans in attendance. Yeah. And go there and really take care of business against a Buccaneer team that just, let's face it, going into the year was one of the lowest power-rated teams in the league. Philly next week, by the way, gets Washington and lost by 1,000 yesterday to Buffalo. Whew, um, Sam Howell. Not good. I, I, and, I, you know, I brought this up on the show yesterday. I was a little surprised that everyone was so eager to bet the Commanders. Another dog that got that played. Got walloped yesterday. And the type of team Buffalo usually beats up on, and they sure did yesterday. But... It's not even a look-ahead spot here in this for, for Philadelphia, where it's a, it's a few weeks from now where mm -hmm. the Eagles are playing a, a big-time opponent again uh, until after week six now. Uh, but, and Vinny, it's, it's always interesting to see, like, again, Bucks are down to five and a half. Total's being bet under, which makes total sense to me, even though you're only a half point off your opener. Uh, but I, I don't think we're moving off of this. I think you're staying put at this five and a half. Maybe a touch six for a half a second before kick, but I would doubt it. Yeah, I don't. Uh, again, we opened at six and a half, and and folks grabbed the they grabbed the six six and a half. We got as low as uh, five. Jeff, you mentioned uh, right again right before Chris came on at the top of uh, the show, uh, went to five and a half. The total of forty four uh, now, which is down. Uh, you know, this total's gone as high as forty six and come down to forty four. So. Um, more movement really uh, today on that total, but look, let's we we talked about adjusted power ratings. Bucks, Bucks, are no surprise, right? We've uh, we've adjusted them up them a up, couple yeah. couple of points. Um, they've played extremely well, and I I I credit it to several things. First of all, it's a veteran roster on both both sides of the ball. Um, a veteran and a, and a pretty solid coaching staff. I know uh, uh, a lot of folks maybe don't necessarily agree with that. Uh, but look, that the coaching staff's done a good job, and Baker Mayfield, for you know, a lot of he's taken a lot of criticism over. You. I give this kid a lot of credit. First of all, let's look at it. When he was in Cleveland, wherever he, he's been, he's played, and he plays hurt. He's one of those guys that he played, was he, always. He, he, he lost his job in Cleveland because he insisted and, on playing. And hurt. you know, again, at some point, you've got to just say, "Hey, listen, let's, you know, we got we got to get healthy." He's a warrior. He's a battler. And that mentality, it transcends. It spreads to the team. He's in charge. He's in command of the huddle. And it's it resonates throughout the team. Now, they may get blown out tonight. Okay, don't get me wrong. But 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 I can tell you this. You can you look at teams and you can tell the vibe of a team. Uh, and how and how they're reacting, particularly to the quarterback. This is the exact opposite of what's happening in New York with the Jets right now, yeah. and and several other teams. So uh, credit him, uh, credit him there. Uh, and I'm, I'm actually, you know, just I'm rooting for the kid. I have no, I had absolutely no interest in taking anything in this game. Maybe an in-game. I want to see how Philly looks. Because sure. this okay. has been, and again, it's it, it. This may come off as a little harsh, because they're two mm -hmm. and zero. Mm -hmm. They covered week one. Yeah, they covered one a, a few five and a halfs that were out there late last Thursday last week, night. Yeah, but pushed most closing numbers at six. They don't look like the same team. Jalen Hurts doesn't look like the same guy he was last year through two games. Now again, it's early. They're two and zero. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a new offensive coordinator and Brian Johnson trying to mm -hmm. figure out what he likes to do. With again, it's pretty obvious that Shane Steichen knew what he's doing. He's two and one in Indianapolis right yeah. now with a roster yeah. that's really not any good. good. Good point. And 
it's just going to be interesting to see against a defense that, look, I, I don't know how good the Bucks' offense is. I think they're still a below-average unit. But that defense still has a lot of pieces that are there when they won the Super Bowl just a few years ago. Dieter Vey is playing Playing great. great. And, Devin, and Devin White looks yeah. healthy again. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, this, is a, this, this is a good defense still. I want to see how Philly looks on the road in prime time against a, a top half of the league defense where they struggled against New England week one, top half defense. They took advantage on the turnovers last week against Minnesota. They don't win mm-hmm. that game without Minnesota f- turning it over four times. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a good point. It's a fair point. Uh, Eagles, you say they don't look the same. Again, I want to I get through these, this first month at least because I think there are still teams trying to figure certain things out. Whether whether they're two and zero or zero and two, there's and Vinny, it's you know, one of the a, teams as we've seen yeah. over the last few years. Eagles don't play their guys in the preseason. Yeah, and so you, you know, it, it, it's a situation where look, it, and and I'm not so sure anymore that not playing your guys in the pre. You know, you, you bring up an interesting point. The Steelers did play. Pick and play all three games. And I got to tell you, maybe that's an adjustment some teams will make down the road. And I'm not saying you should, by any means that you're going to see, you know, the regulars, uh, the starters in for a half a game and everything. But to get some some series in, uh, particularly with a condensed preseason now, maybe that's the way to go because some of these teams are, again, are. Look, I guess you could say that every one of these teams still got has things to figure out after a couple games, right? Uh, but that said, um, the other thing is film is a great equalizer. Probably more of an equalizer in, in the NFL than it is in college as well. Another difference between uh, the pros in college. By the way, Burrow officially active tonight. Uh, Puka Dakua also officially active. Yeah, so the, the two uh, Rams, yeah. the two injuries that we were monitoring, obviously Burroughs means more than Nakua, but mm-hmm. uh, the Rams' number one <clears throat> wide receiver through the first two weeks in Burrow in tonight with the Bengals sitting at 0-2. And, and again, Vinny, Burrow's in. Guys are still the top of the market at three and a half right now. Yeah, on, there's on Cincinnati. Uh, <clears throat> no fours uh, that, we, that we've seen. I think people realize that uh, – that he's not a hundred percent, but certainly uh, uh, it's more than the low of one, one and a half uh, that, that we saw earlier in the week. But uh, three and a half here at the South Point, forty-five and a half. So the total is uh, ticking up with the announcement of both of those uh, guys being uh, being available for uh, for their respective teams. By the uh, way, Vinny, who was yeah. uh, who? Who's the, obviously we know who the highest scoring team was yesterday in the NFL. The Dolphins. The My Dolphins, goodness. who were very close to setting. Multiple NFL records in that game. Got there on the yardage. Needed that field goal at the end of the... I, I think Mike McDaniel correctly not kicking. Keep karma good on, on your end uh, on that one. But uh, first first team to score yesterday. Was, was, was it Miami also or was it someone else? I think it was Miami. I think it was the Dolphins, right? By the way, I think they just scored. They just scored right, again, yes. Right now. Yes, they just scored so, again. Uh, man. The, 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 Dol- the Dolphins and the Bills play on thir- on, on Sunday. And Buffalo is short of a field goal at home uh, at some shops. You guys have the has one of two threes in the market on this game on Buffalo. Kind of just shows how good Miami has been that that number is just a traditional field goal in Western New York on Sunday. Well, I think that, listen, I do think the Dolphins are, are legit. Um, t- typically, remember we used to see, or even in recent years, right? We used to see the Bills and the Patriots have to go to Miami in, in the heat. Oh, of, even of the Jets September. before they forgot how to play football. And Jets, <laughs> it's a separate show. Um, but and and then we used to see the Dolphins go up uh, to uh, New England and uh, uh, Buffalo in in a winter time. So, um, which you know, it's interesting. Uh, but that that's going to be a a game that that'll be one of the bigger handle games uh, that that we we see. Uh, this this week, it's going to be a game everybody wants to see, and understandably so. So, um, but the Dolphins, listen. Here's the thing about the Dolphins. You know, Fangio makes a difference defensively. Now you could say, well, yeah, but they gave up 34 points in the first week. Okay, but they made big defensive plays when they had to uh, in that game. At the end of that game, and and they and and, and that preserved the win there. Um, 
again, what, what they did yesterday was, you know, hasn't had been done since 1966 in terms of, uh, uh, you know, scoring that many points in a game. If their defense is off, they're not going to be out of a game because they could score. They can with, and they, they, have can so much, it, yeah. they have so much speed. We actually started to see that a little bit last year with them. Remember, there were some games where they were down by, I think it was against the Ravens even. Uh, that was 20, right? it was, it was, it was 28 points in the second half, and they and came back and won. They come back and win the game. Yeah. So the, the, the Dolphins' speed bears watching, and it's dangerous, particularly – uh, the way their their offense can get on the board. You know, it, it, again, for this upcoming week in the NFL, that is far and away the best game on the board. I would imagine, again, and, and it's the early game, too. Get my, uh, uh, get so my I would imagine four. that will be the early game. Well, and also we have London this week. First week of London. 6.30 a.m. here in yeah, the West. You ready to buddy. go? Yeah. Uh, Atlanta. We'll just stay here all night. Uh, like, don't you do that anyway? Pretty much. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, it's... We're a month in now, starting next week with week four. Uh, boy, looking at these primetime games next week. Detroit Green Bay is great. The Jets and the Chiefs had so much promise, and now will be a train wreck. And the Giants and the— They don't uh, start flexing in week four, do no, they? No, and the Giants and the Seahawks, which is interesting where— uh, Am I reading this right, that you guys are pick, and that's actually the market low on the big blue right now? Yeah, Seahawks opened uh, yeah. favored. We used a one and a half last night. Yeah, I mean, the market is the Giants' favorite in that game. Yeah, well, Barkley. Uh, Barkley looks like he will that's, play. That's an anticipation of uh, maybe him coming back and uh, their 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 tremendous comeback last week against against the team. By the way, the Cardinals. Think about it. Um, they could be three and zero. Yeah, you, there's a legitimate argument right? to be said. They should be three and zero. <laughs> um, a team that that battles. That's where you're paying attention to coaching. Yeah. Put, right, coach is doing a, tr a tremendous Jonathan job. Jonathan Gannon doing a great that, job with that, that team. team. Just is committed to battling and competing. Credit them for that. So yeah, sounds very impressive. By All the right. way, we talked about you know pros don't look ahead, but sometimes they're lethargic. And when uh, you Dallas look at, was on Sunday, <laughs> boy, I'll tell you. Now I know they had injuries, but man, oof. It was uh it Big was a good it was a good day if you had Kansas City in your survivor pools. That's all I'll say. Yes. It was a very good day if you had the Chiefs in the survivor pools. If you pools. had the the Jags. Jags and the Who, Cowboys, Ravens. What is that? Is that like nine out of ten losses to uh to, the, to the Houston? only time they've beaten Houston in the last five years was last year in week seventeen, where the Texans were truly awful and the Jags needed the game. Yeah. So Jacksonville hasn't beaten Houston in seven years at home. There you go. It's weird, so, weird, weird things happen NFL, in the divisional game. NFL, man. completely uh, unpredictable, uh, a lot less predictable, if you will. Uh, should never be surprised in the NFL compared no. to college. Double-digit dogs. Double-digit dog outright in Arizona yesterday. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Texans is over a touchdown dog on the road outright against Jacksonville. Who's And that was it. lower because of... The, the fact that that, that, Jack, you know, that Houston is playing tomorrow. Look, yeah, the Jaguars yeah. are going to – Jaguars played the first time ever, Vinny, and we'll talk about this on Sun. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll talk about this on Thursday because that game's so early before yeah. we're on on Sunday. Jacksonville will be the first team ever to play back-to-back -back weeks in England. They're going to be over there for be a over there few for two weeks, weeks, right? Yep. Yeah. Get yeah. Buffalo in the second one. And they're there every year. That's almost, every year. You know, yep. they uh, because of proximity, if you will. Well, think about that. Because uh, Mr. Khan wants his team over there once he, he likes it. As simple as that. There you go. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have here tonight. Again, Bucks and Eagles a few minutes away in Tampa Bay. Five and a half point favorites Eagles are right now. Joe Burrow will play tonight for the Bengals. Only three and a half still here at the South Point on Cincinnati. Vinny, pleasure as always. Always good to be with you, Jeff. We'll see you guys again Thursday, 3 o'clock. Again, go to the YouTube channel right now. Check out this show if you missed it. And also our Ryder Cup special, Ro Italy. Look at that. What are you, shocked? Look at that. First time ever in, in Italy for the Ryder Cup. They're going to eat good. I can tell you that's a factual statement as well. <laughs> for Vinny, I'm Jeff. We'll see you next time on Sports by the Book here at the South Point Studio.